Hey guys, thank you for coming back to the Winner Circle and joining me again this week. Um, remember to share, comment, like, and subscribe below. Um, last week we left off on the BB Live feeds that Taylor and Pooch were on the block and we were waiting to see if Michael was going to use the veto. Today joining me, I have um, one of my favorite friends. She is also a live feeder. I, she knew I needed some help tonight. So she's okay. like, girl, I got you. So we're going to get into these live feeds and catch you guys up on what has been happening. Let me leave no further ado. This is Selena. Hi, Selena. Hi, everyone. Um, I think you said I was one of your favorite friends, but I am your favorite friend. So let's correct that. Not you coming in straight clocking me. It's like you just yeah. got here. You're supposed to warm up. You just got here. You oh, didn't take sorry, your shoes off bad. yet. <laughs> okay, okay. Hi, boo. Hey. Okay. So how's it going? It's going good. Thank you for taking the time to get in here with me to talk about this crazy house. I know it's been it's been a little bit of a struggle for me to keep up with BB24 because I don't know. I don't know if my expectations are high. I don't know if we were just having so much fun in the house and that's what I just expected everybody to do. I don't know if the things that they do just get on my nerve and sometimes logging mm -hmm. in just bothers me to my core. Or they just not that damn interesting. But, you know, there's been some things going on. It's probably been like the most interesting chain of events on the live feeds because they had they had alcohol in the house. Yeah, the alcohol really did it. Maybe they should have alcohol every single day because I don't know if I can watch the feeds otherwise, you know. So let's get into it. Something happened. OK, so this is what I was hearing about. Right before, it was really interesting that Daniel was going around saying that Taylor was following him. I'm in my head going, this guy has clearly lost it. I know that Taylor is not following you. I even saw something on Twitter that said the house is made in a circle <laughs> like for filming. Yeah. There's cameras all around. What do you mean? Everybody's following everybody around. I'm like, literally, she is not following you. I don't think that I was like, I couldn't fathom that. And then all of a sudden, I hear these conversations between Taylor and other people, and he's trying to make it seem like, Daniel's making it seem like Taylor's got this crush on him. And then Taylor's like, yeah, I would make out with him. I said, what? Yeah, it was a little crazy. Um, Daniel was definitely like, he was obsessively talking about Taylor like she was obsessed with him. And I mean, you know, we all know that he said a lot of nasty stuff about Taylor. None of them can keep Taylor out of their mouths for even 0. 0.5 seconds at a time. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, but, you know, he really kept going on and on about Taylor. Um, I guess it was two nights ago. They get the alcohol. Taylor starts kind of flirting with Daniel. Um, she does make a comment to Pooch about like, Made me wanting to make out with Daniel. Um, I see it. It's very, it's very um, scary to me. But you know, it's scary to all. I, yeah, scary to all of us. What all is of it? us were. Wait, what? You said all of us were 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 what? I am so sorry. I do yeah, not like cutting no. people off. So I'm so sorry. They were doing what? All of us were what? No, all of everyone on Twitter was trying to come up with so many different theories. They were saying, "Listen, this is a long." Um, and a long-term mastermind type plan. None of us, you we don't know the big it's called, picture. Let me tell you what it's called from back in the day. That's called a long time con, okay? It's a long con okay. game. It's the long con game. Yeah. That's what it is, yeah. Mm -hmm. So we were thinking maybe it's that. She had made a comment about um, maybe even using the um, effect of a showman's to make people think that she was the target or something like that. So she was talking to people basically like this could potentially be a strategy, but the way she was flirting, it was clear that she actually was flirting. Okay. Um, she could have been actually flirting because you can actively flirt without being interested. <laughs> so yes. is this game or does she really potentially see anything in Daniel? Okay, my unpopular opinion is that 
I think she really <laughs> might see something in Daniel. You for are else. okay. So first of all, Selena is known for pairing people together. People who are not typically normally paired. She continues to pair people together. She, but she was a divorce attorney who loves divorce, and I don't understand how she keeps pairing people together. But now I do because you pair people together that should not be. So right, it's like I pair. Um, People who I know will be divorced later so I can have clients later, you know? It's, the, it the all long works con. out for me. It's the long con. I love it. Okay. It's the long con. So you think that she does have a thing for Daniel in real life, in, re- in Taylor's real mind. She has a thing for Daniel. Damn. I really think she has a thing for Daniel because we have to remember that she has not heard the crazy nasty things he's been saying about her. She really doesn't know that he's talking about her 24 seven. So her only view of him is like this man who's probably kind of egotistical, um, like maybe kind of condescending, but some women like a man who's a little bit of an egomaniac. Um, I'm not pointing any fingers at anybody, but um <laughs> So I think like she maybe could find that attractive, like the things that she has seen about him just directly one on one. Okay, this is where I think this is where I am with it. I am going to err on the side of good judgment and I am going to say that this is a strategy because she doesn't have any allies. She doesn't have the girls. Kyle is afraid to tell Alyssa anything about him being interested in anybody Monty is a hell no uh, Terrence is a daddy and a husband um, there's no options in there for her really to flirt so Daniel is kind of the only option to make a, a guy kind of like pull somebody to her side she's not pulling any of the girls to her side. She needs to work an angle. Her only angle, he's the first HOH. Maybe she feels like he has a little power. People were listening to him. People were listening. Nicole works with him. Maybe Nicole has some sway in the house. If she can get Daniel to believe, because she's been trying to tell him, I wouldn't nominate you. You wouldn't be my target. Even though you put me up, I would not come after you. But she probably needs him to feel a little more secure in the fact that she won't. She's not coming after him by making him feel like, hey, I might like you a little bit. So maybe she's playing that. um, I need to bring him closer to me. And Mm -hmm. she can't say to anyone else in the house that she is just BSing him about it because maybe at this point in the game, she does know she cannot trust them. But if she can get one person on her side, and remember, I said this last time, whoever is listening, and you heard me last time, I said, you only need one person. You just need one. It's very hard to have none. But if you at least have one person, then you have somebody that you're working with. If she can pull him to her side, at least she got somebody. So I personally think it is strategy. I think that maybe she does like him enough to be like I will play my position right now but and if she's making us actively think about whether it's genuine or not and really it's game and it's queen it's game I'm going for this game it's game girl okay okay I mean I I want to like um put out the disclaimer that I do not condone this uh, potential <laughs> flirt. You are not signing off unlike, on it. Unlike the past, I do not want this to happen. No one knows all, what you but... mean, honey. No one knows what you mean. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I guess I'm just speaking words that don't have any meaning whatsoever. But um, yeah, uh, I don't know, though. The way she looks at him, though. You think it's uh, something genuine. The way she genuine. smiles at him a little bit. We, we won't yeah. know until we hear her DRs. Okay. So getting back to the yeah. live feeds, that that was a hot topic. We had to get that out there. Um, and okay, is Daniel feeling Taylor? Is he still running? So is she bringing him I over think... to the? Is she bringing him over to yeah. the dark side? Yes. Okay. I mean, she definitely did win him over because after that, he started to like soften up with how he was talking about Taylor. He talked about potentially opening a door to working with Taylor. I really think um, someone had said like when he was HOH, he, he loved the attention. And 
And Mm -hmm. because he loved the attention, like, you know, he kind of let things go to his head. He really felt like he was in power. I feel like he loves the fact that she's giving him attention. Yes. Um, And I think, like, honestly, if she plays into the the flirt mance or whatever, whether Mm -hmm. it's real or not, Mm -hmm. it's really going to help her in this game because I do think he is very narcissistic. But, you know, use that. Okay. I I agree that this is great gameplay. I believe it is gameplay. I think it is the long con. I think she's working on him and I think it's working. Um, I think she's a smart girl and it's okay. It's okay to have, have an ally and to line with somebody. And if it's working, keep working it. So yeah, Taylor and Pooch are still on the block. Mm-hmm. Michael did not use the power of veto. Yeah. Okay. He did not. Um, And, you know, Pooch, we know that Pooch had volunteered himself up to go on the block because he really, really thought that the votes were all going to be for Taylor. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. And as it turns out, the whole house has turned against Pooch and... uh, they're trying to effectively blindside him. Mm-hmm. I think he might have an inkling that, like, he's getting very nervous and he is talking kind of frantically. Mm-hmm. So I personally think he knows that there's a chance that he's for reals going home because, mm-hmm. you know, he's also getting a little bit aggravated. But um, I don't know. It could really be a blindside. Okay, so there's been this talk about keeping Taylor, this girls alliance, Monty feeling like he's um, her her number one target. The girls feeling like keeping Taylor in the house is great and they want to throw her this. Is it them that's saying they want to throw her the next HOH or the guys just feeling like the girls want to throw Taylor the next HOH so she can put Monty on the block? Um, I'm not really sure. Actually, I actually okay. don't know about so that. So there is, but there's this girl alliance that they have going on, or the, do the guys right. just think that there's a girl alliance? Okay, so during the um, alcohol-filled festivities, okay, Alyssa still. had spilled to Kyle that mm-hmm. basically there was a girls alliance, and then threw Brittany under the bus, saying that Brittany was the one who spilled the girls alliance. This ultimately made Kyle, or not Kyle, Monty extremely nervous. Um, He talked about how this would be historic if the girls actually stuck together. I'm calling it, like, I'm calling his fear the glamp out. Like, you know, when you go glamping, um, (laughs) I think he really thinks that um, he's just really, really scared of the girls. I don't know what glamping is. Are you going to elaborate on that for me? Oh, you know, see, I'm from Arkansas, so I know what glamping is. It's like, you go camping, but you like take a trailer basically. So you're living in a house, but you're pretending that you're camping. So okay. you have all the amenities you could possibly need. <laughs> anyway, uh, so somehow that's associated with this girl's lines. Okay, it makes sense. Don't don't ask me about it. All um, right, the logic is there. Okay, okay. but um, he has definitely been. He had been pushing. Nicole. Nicole was like, we need to get Pooch out to keep our line safe. Because he's so nervous about the girls' alliance, he's like fighting Nicole. It's rubbing everybody the wrong way that he is so insistent that Taylor goes leave. Home. That's crazy yeah. because they were so insistent that Taylor leave like a week ago. And now they're bothered that Monty is insistent that Taylor leaves. Exactly. And now everyone is like, Today, people have been talking a lot about Britney because mm. they, uh, you know, Alyssa had thrown Britney under the bus for leaking that girls alliance. And they are potentially talking about getting her out next week. So maybe Taylor could be safe for two weeks. <laughs> um, so it's like a gigantic mess. But um, this girls alliance that's low key imploding on itself, you know, might be the best thing for Taylor's game ever. Who knows? You know, I don't know that there's ever been a girl alliance to make it. And it would honestly be kind of dope to see a house with a all girls alliance that makes it to the end. I think we might see that like, would be cool. I mean, like imagine um, 
a house with no men and the girls don't, you know, like you're not competing for anybody's attention. There's nobody like looking at you (laughs) really. It's just the girls. And so really at that point, it just comes down to game. Yeah. Like I don't, you know, where does, where does all of the, the jealousy, the look at me, the attention come from? I mean, maybe they'll show out for America, but it would be nice to see. I'm here for it. Um, I wish the girls were better, but yeah. that's all right. It, you know? I just want, I kind of want some of the guys to go. I'm just, I am a BB player. I've played before. I love guys personally. I love women too. I just would love to see a woman, a woman win. I like to see a woman winner. We haven't had one in a long time. And I don't know. They're going to have to kick the guys out to do it. And I do think that Michael is playing one heck of a game. He is probably playing the best game right now. He could very well make it to the end. I think if he makes it to the end, he wins. Maybe. Yeah. I kind of have a theory that Taylor might end up being in like final three. I could see that. Just because... Everyone keeps taking shots at each other. I mean, it has become like effectively a gender war in the house. Mm -hmm. And they're all kind of, I mean, they're still, don't get me wrong. They're still talking terribly about Taylor and they do use their free time to still, you know, talk about her as much as they can, but they are so uh, busy being angry at each other that she is like almost slipping under the radar. I can just see it happening. Yeah. Yeah. And, like they uh, keep saying, I keep hearing, well, we can always get Taylor out. Yes. And that's like the big D of, you know, the season, like someone you can just carry and you're like, well, we can get him out whenever we want to get him out. And then the next thing you know, he's still there. She could keep right. sliding. She could keep sliding by. Yeah. She I'll, really could. It would be dope to see them throw that. HOH to her and then who she's supposed to nominate she I think I would nominate Monty and Taylor I mean Monty and Terrence yeah she definitely she has said Monty's name I don't know if that's currently still her target but I very much hope that it is um because that would be amazing It would be nice. It would be nice to see him get a taste, a dose of his own medicine, because so far he's said um, that whatever Taylor did to him was, um, what did he say? It was worse than what? I cannot It had something to do with Paloma. He was so, he really tried to make it seem like whatever Taylor did to him was the worst thing uh, that could be done to him in this game. Yeah, he is... um... I think Monty moves very performatively. Like, I think he does everything thinking that this is what the guys want me to do. So I'm going to like play it up. um, Are we talking about Monty or are we talking about Terrence or are we talking about both? Because Terrence Um, seems to move that way too. I just think Terrence does whatever. I think Terrence is a follower. I think Monty is like more of an active person and I think he just uh is doing everything based on what he thinks people want to see oh he's not being himself unless that is himself and he's a follower I think that is himself I think he as himself is just a performative kind of person I don't know if he um has his own thoughts really you know but Let's um, anyway. let's let's talk oh. about Jasmine and her HOH this week. Oh, girl! <laughs> oh my God, her and that broken foot or whatever. It, um, I'm so sorry for her. I guess, but listen, this woman has been um, like I do believe she's really in pain. Like, okay. obviously, we know that she really did hurt herself. I do think she's probably one of those people who, when they get like injured or they get a little bit sick, they uh, really enjoy being the center of attention Mm -hmm. and they uh, all of a sudden are completely helpless. But on top of that, 
she just complains so much about everybody who helps her, especially Taylor. Yeah. Like there was this clip going around of her telling Taylor to make like a shrimp and rice kind Mm -hmm. of thing. Taylor goes up and does it because she's just a really sweet person. I don't know. It appears that she She is a really sweet person. Yeah. And then she gives it to Jasmine and then Jasmine immediately complains that Taylor's like doing the most because can you believe that she made me shrimp and rice? And it's so nasty to see. Like I saw that. People are trying to help you out. You I know? saw that. I saw, it is, it's not It's not cool because it's giving very mean girl. Um, you know, Jasmine does say what she likes and what she needs. And pe- I've seen like Nicole come and check on her. And then she's there. She's like, well, what do you want? She lets she has a whole menu option ready for what she wants. I want bacon, eggs with this. And then she's like, okay, you want to get it? She's like, no, because um, she they're not going to make it right for me. So pretty much like, can you make it? She, she complains a lot. The complaining about people helping her when she's in a situation and she's asking for help is giving very ungrateful. And yes, it's, it's, it's not it's not cool. And you are only going to be HOH for one week. But didn't she tell Daniel that she thinks it would be unfair to be nominated with an injury? Yes. So does she expect that as long as she's injured that she's supposed to stay in the house? I mean, I guess so. That did Maybe happen. Maybe it'll work. It happened to Christmas. Yeah. I, I kind of like... I'm not sure of how the house guests are going to start treating her, though, when she's not HOH, because I can sense that she is starting to rub people a little bit the wrong way, because it has gone from just complaining about Taylor to really complaining about everybody who's trying to help her. And no one likes that, you know, a so, week in the Big Brother house is a long time and a week of of that of Jasmine um, being not only are you HOH, but you need everybody at your beck and call and you're riding around on this scooter and you're complaining about what everyone is doing when they're only trying to help you out. That's a long time. And at that point, I'm like, yeah, you should just go home because why let you skate by because you feel like you have an injury and you're untouchable. Right. I definitely don't think she'll be the target very soon. But I could see it happening, like, in the next couple of weeks, potentially. So the next target is? I think depending on who wins HOH, the next target is going to be either Brittany or Monty. So everybody Because Nicole keeps... also has it out for Monty. So pe- we are nominating people on a house target. Whoever's HOH is going with whoever the house wants gone. Except I don't think Michael would do that. You know, I was disturbed. So Michael, I thought Michael, Brittany, Kyle, and well, I saw Michael, Brittany, and Kyle supposedly do an alliance together. Okay. But I thought Michael was with Taylor and that, you know, I'm like, are you with Taylor or are you not with Taylor? Michael is confusing me. I don't really know. Michael's a little bit harder to read. because I think he has playing the game no good yeah he's playing the game I think he has like a better poker face so it actually is kind of hard to tell like if he is just if he's like doesn't think that he's lying or if he is lying you know we'll just have to see how that plays out with him so let's talk about Alyssa's crush with Kyle um lol (laughs) uh because she like you know she told him, well, she didn't tell him about the crush, but it, essentially he um, sort of friend zoned her. He had said directly to her, like, people think we're in a showman, something like people think we're in a showman's, um, but you're like my best friend. To Ooh, me, that's friend zoning someone. Yeah, he friend zoned her. Then he was talking to Amira and he was saying, you know, people think we're in a showman's. I don't really want that. Uh, I did see like that. saying something like he doesn't want people to think, think that. that. Mm-hmm. I don't know if he actually doesn't like her, but whatever it is, he really doesn't for sure doesn't want it to happen, at least strategically, I guess. Amira was like, Don't worry, I'll take care of this. She went to Alyssa and told her, 
Oh my gosh, Kyle really likes you. And you know what? I think Kyle likes you more than you like him, even. And Alyssa was like, what? Girl, I was well, like, wait. Wait, what was that? Was that game or was that real? Does she think that? Or was she trying to help him? Or is she just trying to set Alyssa up for failure? I think Amira's trying to set Alyssa up. Because yes. that's like such the opposite of what he said. <laughs> I was like, girl. Not her gaming. Okay. Yeah, like she really is setting up Alyssa to look real dumb. I kind of feel bad for her. But Damn. It's a game. It is a game. You know, hey, I have played these games. I got played out of some games. It happens. They will play you right up out of your seat. So, you know, you got to stay on your toes. Yeah. that That is funny. I originally found out about the Alyssa Kyle thing because I saw Taylor hug Kyle and then Alyssa get upset about it. And I was like, in, my, in the house, in the BB house with us, we hugged all the time. Like, cuddles was for the streets. You could hug, you could cuddle, you could chill, mm -hmm. like a hug. And it, but I guess because it's Taylor, it's a it's a big deal because it's her. Of course, okay. it's always a big deal because it's Taylor. Okay. All right. So the last thing that I saw on the feeds um, was, was it um, Terrence talking about Monty? Like now Terrence isn't feeling Monty and he's saying um, he doesn't want to, he doesn't have to do the cookout, but he doesn't like the way Monty is talking was, um, correct me. What was it? Do you remember? It's something like that. He and uh, Jasmine, just a little bit ago, were talking about how Monty is not really, doesn't seem like he's really with them. Terrence said something like, you know, we're the only two black men here and um, Monty never comes and talks to me, something like that. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, that's kind of what they were talking about. Mm. Monty does move a little different and he doesn't have to, um, make an alliance or an allegiance to anybody. But it is very interesting to see you have no loyalty to anybody. You know, like, I need you to show me that you will stand for something. And Monty seems to only stand for himself. It is a game. There is only one winner. Um, but it's hard for me to say I'm going to work with someone when they're not showing me that they're trustworthy, when they don't show me any signs of loyalty, when I see them breaking. Um, if I see you break your word, if I see how you can play them, I know you can play me. So I I, I would not trust Monty at all. And honestly, I'm glad that uh, Terrence is finally saying that, even though <laughs> Terrence has said some things. He said he he said something about Taylor needing to be disciplined. Um, I was like, you know, Mr. Sir, I'm not feeling you. And <laughs> you, mm -hmm. I don't know if these people have never seen live feeds or they have no idea how this works, but this stuff is aired. We can see it. You have to come out of that bubble one day. You have to hold, you have to be held accountable for your actions. We all do. Like I had to come out and say, I was uh, apologetic about some things. I had to realize some things, but people do live and they grow. Um, but these people are, are a little different than what I was, you know, um, anticipating and what they're showing me. And I'm glad that people are seeing Monty's true colors because we are. And it, I don't want to see any revisionist history on it when um, the last days come. Yeah. So in other words, you will not be uh, one of the alum partying with Monty. No, ma'am. <laughs> No, so glad to hear it. No, ma'am. And you know, it's it's crazy because I have all this love for Taylor and I know she's in this house and this environment and I know what it's like to have these friends or you think that they're your friends and you make relationships, build relationships with them and you come out and everybody that has watched everything that has been said is like, hey, this person is not your friend. You shouldn't deal with them. But then you feel that you have a different experience with them, a different relationship that people didn't see. And you're like, well, that was that. I don't want that. But I on the outside now looking in, I'm like, I really just hope that she believes what people are saying about how she was treated 
and how she was talked about in the house and does not even look back at anybody because no one has treated her with any kind of dignity, respect. Like it's been very cruel uh, from, from most of the people that I've seen. I can't, I can't exclude one. Um, There are some different levels of it, but everybody has participated in it and it's quite ugly. And I hope she comes out and keeps on walking and never looks back. I think she will. I honestly think, you know, She'll be okay. I think it's going to be very hurtful, though, Yeah. to see the things that people have been saying, especially because she really thinks that they're good people. Um, and I think that's, like, the worst part is that, at the least, somehow I'm like, I wish they were even confrontational or something so she would know yes. where she stands or who these people are. But she just doesn't, so. Mm. She might have a slight indication. I would not be surprised if she comes out and she's like, I could feel it. I knew something. Mm -hmm. I couldn't hear him. I didn't know for sure. And so maybe she's a person who gives people the benefit of the doubt. And it's like, I'm not going to just make it be what I think it is. I don't have any proof of that. So I'm going to treat you the only the way I see you. But I still feel that there's something behind you and I got my eye on you. Yeah. Daniel is long con game. Okay. Okay. I'm willing to put, I I want to put a wager on it. Okay. <laughs> I mean, what's, what's the bet? I don't know. I, the bet is I need to be right. <laughs> <laughs> so I do think like whatever it is when she comes out and sees how Daniel's been towards her, like, um, I think she's like, She's not going to stand for that at all. So whatever it is, it's not going to last. Daniel's going to mess around and fall in love and be like, I don't even know what I was saying about her. I never said any of those things. I was wrong. I wasn't even paying attention. She's going to put that black girl magic on him and he's going to. And I don't mean she's going to even have to touch him, (laughs) you know, just sprinkle you with dust. I have that, too. (laughs) You know, she's sprinkling with dust. And, you know, I think I think um, I think she might be building a a friend in there who might not want to leave her. Uh, let her leave the house. You know, maybe she just really likes Elvis and that's all it is. All right. So anyway, that's where we are (laughs) on the big brother (laughs) live feeds. Um, We, the, the uh, episode got pushed back. So we are not having a live eviction on Thursday. I don't know what's going on with all these twists. I don't know if this is impromptu with something that they just came up with, or they really plan to do all of these changes with, um, production and big brother but we won't know what's going on and i also don't know if we'll have live feeds like that's the craziest thing too is if they're changing this and they do have uh another hoh but we don't get to see it and they don't let us know i don't know what that means but i will be uh watching the live feeds and the cats and dogs play and so i can come back and tell you guys what's going on me too i think um taylor's staying one more week I think so. Yeah. For sure. All right. Well, thank you, Selena, for coming and joining me tonight. Thanks for having me. Oh, can you tell the people where to find you? Yes, you can find me on Instagram at the saltiest sal. And you can find me on Twitter at the salty sal. So either way, there's some salt in there. Mm, salt bay. Um of course, you guys know you can find me here on the Winter Circle Mondays and Wednesdays. Mondays covering the challenge and Big Brother live feeds and Wednesdays covering the live feeds. I thank Selena for joining me tonight because she knew I needed a little help with the, with the feeds and what was going on. I was a little confused. You can find me on Instagram, Absolutely Gorgeous 100, Twitter, um, Absolutely Tiff. Remember, share, like, subscribe, comment, and I will see you guys in a couple of days. Bye.